Hi there, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at Kids Comic Con for 2014 here at the Bronx Community College in the Bronx. I'm here with Alex Simmons, the creator of this event. <laughs> He's going to credit for that's right. He's going to tell us about what's going on, what's new, and one of his new projects that he's working on called Blackjack, which will be coming out in animation form in uh, hopefully in a little while. We'll talk, we'll talk about that. Okay, we'll talk about it. So with that, here is Alex. Thank you. Hey, pleasure to have me. At that. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here, obviously. See, you know, I write, I don't talk. Uh, but then, you know, welcome to KCC. Uh, I know you've been walking around, uh, possibly filming, showing the people what it's like here. Uh, KCC was actually started back in 2007, and the concept was that the comic book industry, which had always been for kids and family and adults, was moving totally towards adults, ignoring the kids, and, and comics was one of the way kids started, uh, many kids started reading. So we wanted to bring some of that fun and stimulation of imagination and so forth back to the kids, back to families, so we created this event. And uh, I'm lucky enough to know Gene Adams, who's the Director of Educational Outreach here at the college. We talked, we brought this, ev this event into existence in 2007, so today, uh, May 10th, 2014, is our eighth year uh, doing this show. So it's very exciting. Uh, you see somebody just step right into the camera, you know, the back of your head's now being filled. <laughs> That's okay. Um, anyway, KCC, as I said, you know, it's a family event and so forth. It's all right, folks. It's, it's, that's what it's all about. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, this is great. I love improv, you know, improv television. Uh, KCC right now is, you know, we have a number of children and families and parents walking around uh, meeting the artists, meeting uh, some of the publishers who uh, like Archie Comics and so forth, uh, some of the artists uh, such as Diana Leto, who not only does her own book for Dark Horse, but also works with Sesame Street. Uh, we have in Stephen Harris, who's done Voltron, you know, for Boom Studios, if I'm correct, but also has his own property out called Ayala, and is up for uh, an Eisner Award for work he's doing on Watson and Holmes, which is another comic book. So we have a wide array of artists and writers and editors and publishers here. And the idea is, again, for kids to be exposed to this creative energy and to be able to ask questions. One of the things, because KCC is what I call an initiative, means we do volunteer work. Uh, we're not making mad money out of here. Uh, today, for instance, the admission is free. What we've done is a number of the artists have put together this KCC anthology, and it's a 40-page, full-color comic book short, collection of short stories that we sell to help raise money to do what we do. So A, yes, you could get it if you were here, but you're not. But the other way you can get it is go to createspace.com or go to amazon.com. You can order it from there. Um, some of the other things we're doing is I'm, just so you know who I am, I'm a writer. So yes, I am doing Blackjack. We'll get to that in a moment. But I also do Archie Comics. So here's Chuck Clayton, uh, The Cartoon Life of Chuck Clayton with Archie Comics. I have, moving over here for a moment, I've done Clash of the New Kids, which in, introduced in Archie a, a whole new group of diverse kids uh, coming into the storylines. Uh, and again, when I say diverse, I don't mean just African American. I mean uh, Latino, um, e Middle Eastern, uh, Asian, and so forth. You know, so we're really trying to reflect the world more. You know, the world that we all live in. And again, that's part of what KCC is about: is opening eyes, opening up possibilities, and so forth. Now, the last thing I'll say before I get to the point where you can ask me questions is one of the things that brought me into the comic book world, other than the fact that I read a lot of comic books, especially as a kid is that I created this character called Blackjack, which is an African-American soldier of fortune in the 1930s. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is I grew up watching a lot of films and things from that era, and of course a lot of you may know Indiana Jones and all that. And it's great to see those things, and it's adventure, and it's exciting, and there are mysteries and all that, but I very seldom saw people who looked like me. Or if I did, they were the porters, you know, they were butlers, or they were totally comic relief. And yet I knew at that same time in history we were members of the Rough Riders, we were, we were soldiers, we were sailors, we were all of those things, explorers. So I wanted to reflect that more. And I also, when going to other cultures, I wanted to reflect that with more respect. Because again, a lot of those old films and stories use stereotypical characters. So to me, it was adventure, it was fun, it was excitement, but it was also dealing with being more respectful to the rest of the world. 
So having done the comics and gotten very good response from that over the years, I'm now moving to uh, working with uh, a company called Eon Entertainment. Uh, we are now working on developing a series of online animated films and video games and comic books, and Blackjack is going to be one of the lead properties, the lead series with that. We're going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign on May 14th to begin promoting that so we can build more of the content, so you'll be hearing more about that. Again, May 14th, Kickstarter, uh, Blackjack and Eon Entertainment. So I've now talked a lot about me. Maybe you have questions. Heck, you answered mostly all the ones I was going to ask. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's start again. <laughs> Especially about the blackjack animation and everything. Now, about that, you say you want to get, you know, you're going to start that as a Kickstarter. How many episodes do you want to make, and how long are they going to run for? We're doing what's called transmedia entertainment. So the idea here is to be able to tell a number of stories. Uh, across three platforms. So the comic book stories will also tie into the animated films which will tie into the video games. So ultimately we're looking at doing three minute episodes of let's say Blackjack. We have four other series that we're, we're working on at the same time. Three minute episodes of Blackjack. They will be aired in installments and when the whole story is complete they'll pull together into an 85 minute feature film. So then people will be able to download it as just a complete movie, or they'll be able to buy it, or they'll just be able to watch it from the cloud, you know, uh, as, as a complete, you know, one evening sitting experience. Get the popcorn. Now, how is the film being done? Is it being, being done in all th CG? Or are you doing for um, regular cell, an cell animation, or both? We're doing CGI predominantly. The company that's doing this is called Cutting Edge Productions, and they're in the Philippines, and they're doing Blackjack the film as a CGI production. And again, when, when we launch the Kickstarter, there'll be uh, behind-the-scenes footage and so forth that'll show people sort of some of what, how that's coming together. Um, but we're also going to be doing other series and other shorts, and some of those will be done as 2D animation, what you'd be, you would consider more traditional cartoon animation Saturday morning. So the idea is we really want to build up a wonderful amount of content. Uh, the crazy thing about it is that people will be able to go onto our website and access all this material for free. Yeah, free to play, free to play. Now we also know free to play means we're going to expect you to buy stuff, but bottom line is this is going to be globally accessible, several different languages, access characters, creator owned. Now, you also said you want to get this done as a video game. How about also as an action figure? And if you were, if if by chance you get it done as an action figure, what toy company would you want doing it? And also, what video game company would you want to um, do blackjack? Well, because we're developing this whole project, this larger entity, this transmedia entity, we're already in discussion with a video game company. I can't mention the name at the moment because, again, it's negotiation discussion. But we've, we've already met with a company that we would really like to work with. So we're hoping that by the end of June, we can announce that. So, you know, you keep your ears up for that one. In terms of merchandising items, you know, toys and and, and t-shirts and things like that, uh, we're actually looking at definitely developing that material. Merchandising-wise, in terms of toy figures, I've never thought about what toy company, because you have the option of A, yes, connecting with, if they want, a Mattel or whomever, but then you also have the Todd McFarlane route, which is, you know, you, you find a company, either in the United States or overseas, that, that can do it for the money that, that pe everybody's comfortable with, and you put the toy out yourself. So, I mean, ultimately, that's, we're looking at that from two sides, and I think we'll make that decision once we've gotten through the initial stages of getting the content for the site locked in and, and polished. Okay, on the toy part, you already said what you had to say, but who would you want to actually do your toy? Your, who would be your top pick?
I, I honestly am not dodging the question. I don't have anyone in my head that I go, whoa, I can't wait for those guys to do it. No, it, it's not like that. I mean, I've worked with, um, oh, God, I don't even remember now. I did a, a, a mystery game with a toy company some years ago, and I can't even remember who that is. So ultimately, I will respect the work. I will respect the work of any particular company um, that would would be interested in discussing it with us. But, you know, you're going to look for two things. You're going to look for a deal that everybody can live with, that they're comfortable with, and you're going to look for quality. You know, I've seen some toys that were turned out about characters that were not iconic. You know, they weren't <laughs> Captain America. So, actually, I've seen some iconic character toys turned out, too, that were pathetic looking. So, ultimately, just to have a toy out there is not the, is not the aim. You want everything that we do to be a quality product. So ultimately, whoever comes to me and can meet that criteria, when the time is right, that's who we would deal with. I don't have a name here that I can't wait for them to approach me. Any more than if somebody said to me, well, if somebody wanted to do a live action film, what company would you want to produce it? I have no idea. Come to me with a pitch, show me what kind of quality you're willing to work with, Give me that, that idea that, yeah, we're going to take this property, we're going to run with it, we might go with it from there. Throughout the day. So, as you all can see, oh, I actually hear this is through, this is out throughout the whole day and everything. But I want to thank Alex because he's gonna have to run now. Uh, well, that was your wife just now, right? That was my wife. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was definitely my wife of 26 years. Yeah. She still loves me. <laughs> or likes me a lot. I'm not sure what you did. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to let Alex go. And thank you very much for having me come to the show again. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you. You've been coming here for the duration, right? You've been here almost every year. Yeah, so he's, he's been with us almost eight years. Thank you. <laughs> and with that, I'm Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at the Kids Comic Con at the Bronx Community College in the Bronx. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you, and uh, next year, let's see you here physically, okay? Bye.